Hello everybody and welcome back to the Heller Bookman Workshop here in Mentone, Victoria. In this video I'm really excited to be showing you the latest addition to our diagnostic and calibration equipment range, the MTHV, Measurement Technology High Voltage. The MTHV works in conjunction with our Megamax X and the two connect together by Bluetooth so there's no messy cables when you're working on vehicles. The MTHV is really packed full of features, one of which are the specific leads that it comes with. As you can see, the ends come off the leads, and on some vehicles where you need an OE-specific adapter to make measurements, these leads will plug into that adapter. Another of the great features of the MTHV are what we call guided measurements. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how those guided measurements step-by-step step guide you through all the procedures needed to safely and effectively depower, in this case, the hybrid Camry that's behind me. So, with that being said, well, let's get started and get this vehicle safe to work on. Before we begin working on the actual vehicle, there's a couple of things that I need to discuss. Firstly, if your state or territory has legislation that requires you to be licensed for working on electric or hybrid vehicles, then of course you must ensure you hold the appropriate license. Secondly, safety equipment. Personal protective equipment, such as you can see here, the high voltage gloves, we've got a high voltage rescue hook, we've got a lockout box so we can safely lock the key fob away so no one can try and start the vehicle while we're working on it. We have an arc flash helmet and we have high voltage approved tooling. The other thing is the signage and the barriers that you can see here around the vehicle. And lastly, and whilst I'm not dressed in it at the moment, we soon will be appropriate personal clothing to ensure your safety when working on a hybrid or electric vehicle. Okay, now I think we can begin. So here we have our Megamax X SDI or Smart Diagnostic Interface. You can see here the various menus. We're going to go into vehicle selection first of all and select our vehicle. In this case we already have the vehicle in the tool because we've worked on it before. So we select it and we can put in the kilometres that the vehicle has travelled. Click OK and you'll see that the device comes up with a warning telling us that this is in fact a high voltage vehicle. We're going to go now into measurements and you can see there's four different selections low voltage which we'll look at in another video here we're going to go into guided high voltage measurements. We select that and then guided measurements. You can see on this screen here there's quite a few sub-menus. We will actually be going through all of these individually as we go through the process to depower the vehicle. So let's click on start measurement and the first thing we need to do is we need to test our probes. So to do that we hold the probes together, we push the red button that you can see highlighted here the measurement is taken and you can see there that it's been carried out and the result is OK. We push the red button to go on to the next step. And here we've got some safety instructions. Really, really important that we read these fully, understand them and where required we comply with the instructions that the tool gives us. All of these instructions and recommendations are based on the specific OE information for the vehicle that we've got selected. Once we're satisfied that we've read and understand all those instructions, we can again hit the red button on the positive lead and we go to the next step. And this step covers the safety equipment that we need. Again, really, really important because we are working on potentially lethal voltages on this vehicle. Once more, we read all of the steps here, make sure we understand them. Once we're satisfied that we've done that, then we can hit the red button on the positive lead once again 
and go to the next step. This tells us the equipment that we need. In this case, we need the MTHV, which we have, and no other specific equipment. Last step before we begin depowering the vehicle is to prepare the vehicle. Again, this is based on the OE recommendations, so we'll vary a little bit from vehicle to vehicle. OK, hit the red button and we can begin to depower the vehicle. You can see the tool shows us where the 12 volt battery is located in the vehicle graphically, as well as telling us exactly where it is. And the first thing we need to do is disconnect the negative battery terminal on the vehicle. And once we've done that, we can hit the red button and we move on to the next step. The next step is to remove the high voltage circuit breaker. The tool shows us graphically where this is located on the vehicle. And further down in the instructions, you can see it tells us exactly where it's located, which in this case is underneath the rear seat on the driver's side of the vehicle. Step-by-step -step instructions there on how to disconnect and remove the high voltage circuit breaker. So once we're ready, we can go ahead and show you this on the vehicle. You'll see we've got our high voltage personal protective equipment on because we are working on the high voltage side of the vehicle. Once we've removed the high voltage circuit breaker, hit the red button, we go to the next step and that's to check the integrity of the high voltage circuit breaker. We need to take a resistance reading across the terminals numbered 1 and 2 as you can see on the Megamax device here and that reading must be between 0 and 1 ohms. So we're taking the reading here, we've got the red button pushed on the positive lead, we let it go and we can accept the measured value here which in this case is 0 ohms so that passes nicely. We can hit the red button and move on to the last step in depowering the vehicle and that is just to take a voltage measurement across the power inverter. Again the tool shows us exactly where this is located on the vehicle and we need to take a measurement across points 2 and 3. Important to note before we do this that we wait at least 10 minutes after we have disconnected the high voltage circuit breaker. So let's go ahead and take that reading on the vehicle. We've waited the 10 minutes. Again, we've got our high voltage personal protective uh, equipment that we're wearing. We're going to hold down the red button on the positive lead while we're taking that reading. And you can see zero volts is what we've got. Green, so that's passed as well. So that now completes all the steps that we need to safely depower the high and low voltage sides of the vehicle. One of the things I'd like to point out is that with the Megamax X in the vehicle history section, all of the history of the vehicle is stored. So you can always refer back to it at any time. And you can see here, in this case, we've brought up the record of us depowering the system and you can see all the steps we've taken and the results. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks to the MTHV and the Megamax X, we've safely depowered both the high and low voltage circuits on the Camry, ensuring it is now safe to work on. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you require any further information on the MTHV, the Megamax X or indeed any of the diagnostic and calibration equipment in our range, you can contact us by email on hgscustomersupport at hella.com or you can give us a phone call on Melbourne 03 9581 9437. Keep a look out for our next video where I discuss the low voltage capabilities of the MTHV.